This time we back again. Tip politics. Let's get it. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? We finna let y'all know what's going on with this one. It's uh, Charles the White finna, you know. Well, academics finna give us this breakdown on 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 this situation. Let me get right. He gonna tell us about these boys a little bit at all. Let's go. And I ain't gonna lie, it was, good, it was good reviews from this episode. He was kicking game to these girls. Like most, if you don't know Fresh and Fitted, they're they're a dating podcast. They usually have a bunch of young women who are kind of interested in talking about dating and relationships, and they have their own views, which are the two hosts, Myron and, and um, Walter Weeks, aka Fresh. Uh, Fresh. So Fit, aka Myron Gaines, and Fresh, aka Walter Weeks. They basically have you know, their own takes on this red pill type of manosphere look into new age dating and relationships. Oh, academics done been on the show too before. Y'all need to see academics episode. Academics fit right in with them boys. He fit, he fit right in with them. Um, Charles White goes on there and he starts kicking his knowledge. He starts doing whatever the case is. And um, I ain't gonna lie. All these women, they were listening to him. They were fucking with him. This is actually one of their best episodes, to be honest. Other, okay. yeah. Talk to your grandmothers and your great grandmothers, and I promise you, they will tell you. And, and I, I can't tell if it's you know, obviously he's a smooth talking all type of way, but like I think it's also like when you have an older dude who's actually, you know, he's not just using like thoughts from his hard dick paws, but he's also using history and he's, he's put in a palatable way, you know. Um, that's one thing I've, I've said with like you know, fresh and fit. Um, they kick a lot of knowledge, but sometimes people f- find their way of kicking it abrasive, right? Like they say the same things Tate say, but Tate they love because Tate has the bravado, and Tate makes it palatable. Same with um, the Godfather, uh, 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 um, Kevin Samuels. He just makes it palatable. Anyway, so this episode happens, and um, what happens next is that I guess. It's all about how you present things to people, man. And that's the thing, man. They just, they so fucking childish and vulgar and just like, why the fuck you gotta sound like you shitting on somebody when you explain it? So why you gotta sound like you trying to demise a motherfucker, demean a motherfucker? Why you can't just get them the game like how a real player would? Cause these niggas ain't player, they fucking prunes. They fucking prunes, they lame as fuck. Yes, they invite Charles White stand. to come I, back. One thing about me, I can't stand no lame ass niggas, bro. On Fresh and Fit. They're like, yo, come back on, man. Like, yo, they, they did great views, by the way. Like, this is pretty good views. I can't stand no lame ass niggas, bro. 1.6 million views in two months. <laughs> and this shit went crazy. So they invite him to come back on, and apparently, Charles White, um, we finna get it today. You know what I mean? Hurry up, man. What you're about to see is the best part of my job. Bruh, I ain't even know Ken Nugent was still alive. Swear I did. I remember that nigga. One call, that's all. I remember that nigga. Alright, what? That nigga had the most commercials, bruh. Swear he did. If you ain't got them, call Ken Nugent, he was the fucking fool. <laughs> Straight up, everybody was calling Ken Nugent. I probably even called Ken Nugent. I ain't even know what Ken Nugent was. I'm calling this nigga. Ken Nugent? Nugent? Ken Nugent? <laughs> because they didn't um, offer him any money. Okay? Yeah. He went off on them like. Yeah, hey, I, I wouldn't have went back either. Y'all want me to come back on y'all show because it did numbers and y'all ain't want to pay me. Y'all don't want to give me a, a cut. Man, it's about this money out here in this YouTube world these days. You want me to come on your podcast? I need about 500. I got a baby. What you talking about? And that's local. That's local. And I'm talking about local meaning like less than 30 minute drive. Less than an hour drive for real. But yo, anything past that, I'm going to need five bands. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I was starting to think. I ain't gonna tax like that, cause I ain't tripping like these niggas be tripping. They go um, fifty thousand and shit like that. Now, if I'm gonna help you gross that much, it's different. I'm picking on me. So yeah, yeah. I still so, wouldn't even ask for that saying, money. Man, I don't, don't want to be no harm to nobody. 
I make my shit affordable so I can just go to everybody podcast and be all everywhere. You feel me? Shit, these niggas dumb. Here we go. I can't say that. I can't say they dumb. They kind of try controversial. Everybody go over here. They podcast. Shit. I don't like them niggas. Do it. Now, these accounts are starting them over Instagram. Okay. I'm just saying. But listen, can somebody tag uh, uh, Fresh and Fit? I don't like them niggas. I don't like Fresh and Fit. Them niggas invited me back on their podcast. Let me just say this. Them niggas some suckers. Yeah, fresh and fit. They some suckers and they some mom. They ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. <laughs> they ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. Let me just tell you something. I think my girl, pork. My girl cooking me breakfast right now. Right now. She came and asked me if I wanted breakfast. And I didn't, but if you don't ask, you feel me, I'm going I'm to let you do what you want to do. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we talking about. You ain't, you ain't never seen them with a chick. You ain't never seen them with a woman. You ain't never seen that woman cooking them breakfast. My woman cooking me breakfast right now. I think it's probably done. Nah, it ain't done yet. She probably done threw some fish in there. Ain't it? Fish. She like corn. She might have thrown some corn in on breakfast. She, I don't know why she be throwing corn on breakfast. I, I eat it. She ain't got no more corn. Last time we had corn for breakfast, I'm like, damn, I like that. Surprised she ain't made no, um, what is it called? Eggs. Must be ain't no eggs. Oh, yeah, the eggs cook fast. Anyways, man, see, that's, that's, they ain't got that. I got that. I might not have a goddamn Bugatti or Rolls Royce yet. And I say yeah, cause I'ma have me a goddamn Maybach. I'ma have me a driver and all, dog. I know I'ma have one luxury thing going on with a driver and shit. You feel me? But they ain't got nothing that I got. I got a family. I got a baby. I got a love. You feel me? Shit real. This shit real. It could be real if you wanted to be. But bro, I think the passport bros. I think those are suckers. Big suckers. Niggas got to go out the country to go get a ball. <laughs> Nigga, you a sucker. Them ain't nothing but down low homosexual men uh, that, that play footsies with each other. Uh, man, it's a bullshit ass thing, bro. You heard him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, I want to tell Fresh and Fit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You heard him. So listen, that's what these niggas said. Now they paid me. The first podcast they paid me. They invite me to come back on the second podcast. But them niggas don't want to pay me. They told me it was a gesture. So let me tell Fresh and Fit this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. I think the light skinned nigga is a sucker. I think the dark skinned nigga is a punk. Yeah, y'all. I think the light skinned nigga is a sucker. <laughs> they dark skinned nigga is a punk. I think them niggas can get no kind of pussy, baby. Nah, them niggas some more. You see how they talk to women? Now, when I got on this nigga show, I put some Mac in that. I showed you niggas how to mack to the young bros. Did y'all know that when I was on them niggas show, them little hoes listen to everything I said? They was. They really was. Them niggas were beating up on the bitches. <coughs> them niggas and some niggas that couldn't get no pussy in school. Now, I said this. I look at them. They beating up on the girls because they in a better position. Nah, nigga, only the strong can show compassion for the weak. You niggas don't show no compassion for them young girls. And I notice y'all pick on girls just left their mamas and daddies house. You niggas don't go get. You niggas don't go get no women. You niggas don't go get no man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every women that got a strong man and talk to them. You niggas go get the most vulnerable young lady out of our population. I think both you fresh and fit niggas is the weakest black man talking. The end. And you know what's crazy? They literally do target the exact girls that he said they target. They literally do that. And they do it on some old catfishing ass way. They catfish them onto the show. No cap. Drew Tate, nigga, he a goddamn rapist. Oh, no, man. Andrew, you see him skip that? You see, you see, you see, you see, I could never skip that shit. Stuck on the town with the ass. Yeah, American dollars being well over there. Go over there with them pesos. Me, nigga. Two of y'all somewhere jacking each other off. You can't do one man. Fuck all that shit. Yeah. All right, he was going off, man. All type of way he was going off <laughs> against uh, <laughs> um, Fred Mason. Park dictates. 
come to women and teach women to do trade as a rapist. We got the big yeah. truck fit now. Yeah. Well, if he can't stand up, he don't go outside and pee. Who's going? Great. Game shouldn't be just one sided. If I appreciate it. Anyway, man, y'all seen it, bro. Charles the White and let them niggas know, man. They weak. They soft. <laughs> Gotta cut them off. <clears throat> yep. Tip, politics, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. We out, man.